I've been a Freemason since 1968. I love the ritual of Freemasonry and I love the lessons which it teaches. I'm proud of the antiquity of Freemasonry, of the timeless principles of Freemasonry, and the fact that uh, we are a society of men who can uh, meet whatever background, whatever colour your skin is, whatever creed, whatever religion, we can all meet on the level, as we say, which means that all are equal. Ladies, gentlemen and brethren, please remain standing for the entry of the most worshipful Grand Master of the Grand Lodge of South Australia and the Northern Territory, most worshipped by the Raymond Allen Clark and officers of Grand Lodge. Grand Master's role is probably on about three, three fronts. It's a uh, predominantly a ceremonial role. There's a public role on the public face of Freemasonry. And there's an internal um, management and leadership role. Right, Worshipable Grand Wardens, be seated. Bob's a very experienced Freemason. He's already been the leader of another order in Freemasonry. He's um, well presented. And I think he's a very, very capable person to carry on um, as the leader of Freemasonry in this jurisdiction. This Grand Lodge is this year 128 years old. It is the oldest Grand Lodge in Australasia. In that time, we have had 32 Grand Masters. They have come from governors of the state. They have been um, High Court judges, lawyers, prominent businessmen. And I'm honoured to be the 33rd Grand Master in that illustrious group. My role as Grand Master will be to lead and give direction to this organisation. My focus uh, would be to showcase Freemasonry in general to the public and in particular the continuing relevance of Freemasonry to our public and also to uh, increase our charitable assistance to the community. Bob will be going through some of the feelings that I'm going through. He'll probably be very nervous about the ceremony and he'll also be very proud when the ceremony's finished to, to think that he's been placed in a pretty important position in, in South Australia. I, Robert John Parsons, in the presence of Almighty God. Green installation in a, will, will maintain the format that it's had for the last few centuries. So it's, it's based on long-term old traditions, nothing's changed. The ceremony we conducted in such a way that it has for the last couple of hundred years. The focus on the, in a grand installation is where I will hand over to the new Grand Master the reign of Freemasonry in this jurisdiction. I would hope to be remembered as uh, I believe our current Grand Master will be remembered for um, innovation in the sense that there are changes which have to be made where we are continuing to modernise this Grand Lodge to make ourselves more prominent to the community and to uh, potential members. Grand Master, behold your brethren. The things that I'd say to Bob and, and to Sonia, his wife, is to continue to be approachable. I'm sure you'll get as much enjoyment out of Freemasonry as Paula and I have got. Enjoy meeting new friends and new people and enjoy the satisfaction of fulfilling your role.